Hello, my name is Muhammad Hasim and today I will be talking about Chenwa Achebe's novel Things Fall Apart from post-colonial perspective. Chenwa Achebe was a Nigerian novelist, a poet and a critic who is regarded as the dominant figure of modern African literature. Now to give you an overview of the novel, the author has divided the novel into three parts. In the first part, he has talked about the life of Nigerians before colonialism. And in the second part, he depicts the disturbed life of Nigerians when white men entered their society. And in the third part, he has talked about the miserable condition of the Nigerians along with the protagonist of the novel after colonialism. Now, the story revolves around Upanku, his family, and his clan. Focusing on the rise and fall of the protagonist of the novel, it is both a tale of human relations and a commentary about foreign influence on local countries. When Upanku returned from his exile, he is found that the missionaries has brought radical changes changes that he may not survive. Now, before I move on to talk about the novel from post-colonial perspective, let us first understand what is post-colonialism. According to Robert Young, any work scholarly and creative that deals with the issues of European colonization of Africa, the Caribbean, and Asia, and other parts of the world and it also traces not only what the colonizers did, but what kind of a response came from these countries. How did they fight back? Now, post-colonialism was triggered when Edward Said published Orientalism in 1980, and it was adopted as a disciplinary subject uh, after the publication of Empire Right Back. So, post-colonial literature is generally considered as the literature produced by writers from countries with a history of colonialism, or texts produced by writers who have migrated from countries with a history of colonialism. This novel, Things Fall Apart, is considered as a post-colonial novel because it is a response to the colonial discourse. Now, this is the first and foremost characteristic of a post-colonial text, that it is a response to the colonial discourse. It is the other side of the story which was never heard. Africa, for centuries, was presented as a prehistoric earth and Africans as prehistoric men. Now, European writers like Joseph Conrad and Kingsley presented Africa as a place having no meaning, no shape, and no coherence. Echebel, in this novel, Things Fall Apart, has break all these stereotypical images of Africa created by the European writers and presented Africa as a land having its own culture, religion, administration, and rules that are needed for civilization. Also, post-colonial text aims at rewriting history. They present their own culture, which was deliberately covered by the European to, to create a mysterious and exotic image of African, where people dance frenziedly and beat drums. According to HFA, African people did not hear of culture for the first time from Europeans. African people were not mindless. They had poetry and above all, dignity. In this novel, HFA has represented African culture through different institutions. Firstly, he has talked about the judicial system. There was a lady called Magbafu who was beaten by her husband. Now she pleads before Igubu, who was the head of the nine villages. 
and he decides that for her to go back to her husband and he must beg his wife for forgiveness and present his in-laws some wines. Secondly, he has talked about the religious system. And thirdly, he has talked about the administrative system. Other institutions such as the institution of currency, the institution of marriage has been also presented in the novel. The festivals such as the week of peace and the festival of Yams also represents Achebe's claim that Africa has a culture. Achebe in his novel also presents the effects of colonialism on African culture, which is one of the most significant characteristics of post-colonial texts. Colonialism refers to the full or partial political control over other nations for their economic exploitation. Now, the effects of colonialism on African culture were drastic, as it not only destroyed the African culture, but it also affects the native psychologically, economically, and politically. Ukonko, who was a, a prosperous man, having his own compound, three wives and numerous children, and two titans, was forced to kill at the end of the novel. After being humiliated by a district commissioner, Okonko, in a fit of anger, kills a white messenger. And the Omofians, instead of helping him, take revenge on the white man for destroying Omofia, leaves him alone. Seeing the unwillingness of his people to fight back, Okonko kills himself. This suicide was not made a suicide, as highlighted by Oberika, his friend. He says that he was one of the most respected and greatest men in Omofia. You drove him to kill himself. Now he will be buried like a dog. In conclusion, we can say that Things Fall Apart by Chenba Achebe is a post-colonial text as it represents the culture of the Igbo society, which was never represented by the white man. It is also a response to the colonial text that represents the African and the colonized people as brutes and savages. So this is all from my side. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write it down in the comment section.